Hi everybody, Brooke Schreier here from the Ontario Federation of Angus and Hunters and the Abating Species Awareness Program. Came for a walk down here by this creek today, Cabin Creek outside of Peterborough, and figured we'd flip over some rocks to see if we could find ourselves any native or invasive crayfish. First rock we flipped, we actually happened to stumble across Faxonius rusticus. So this is a rusty crayfish. This is actually an invasive crayfish which was introduced from Ohio in about the 1960s to this region actually. It's suspected that it was actually introduced via a bait bucket. So an, uh, an angler who potentially wanted to use it as bait brought it in and introduced it to our waters. This species is now well established in Ontario, all the way north up to Lake of the Woods region. The way you tell it's a rusty crayfish is by the black bands on the tips of its claws, including the oval gaps in its claws when it's closed. It also has a very smooth and concave rostrum, and then the dead giveaway, hence its name, is the rusty patches on its carapace, which you'll see uh, when you catch these suckers. Now, if you're an angler wanting to use these as bait in Ontario, it's very legal to do so. However, you just need to make sure that when you're catching crayfish that you have a proper uh, recreational fishing license, that where you're putting your baited traps, that you have it marked off with all the appropriate information, and all of this can be found in the Ontario Fishing Regulations. Now, keeping in mind that the max number of crayfish that you're allowed to have in your possession at any one time for angling is 36, okay? So no more than 36 while angling, and you're never allowed to transport crayfish over land for any reason, alive or dead, native or invasive, it doesn't matter. All crayfish are prohibited from overland transport in Ontario, and this is fundamentally to prevent the risk of spreading uh, diseases or spreading the invasive species themselves. So, why are they so invasive? These guys will actually outcompete our native crayfish, such as the virile crayfish, or the northern clearwater crayfish, amongst many others. And many of our native crayfish, including those two species that I just mentioned, can actually hybridize with the rusty crayfish. At which point, when they have their offspring, you have invasive hybrids. Okay? So if you guys ever come across this in your travels while angling, make sure that you take a photo, get those key characteristics that I identified, and submit it to www.eddmaps.org slash Ontario, or call the Invading Species Hotline at 1-800-563-7711. I'm Brooke Schreier from the Ontario Federation of Irish Hunters and the Invading Species Awareness Program.